Hello friend, I am Naval. You are watching Code with Naval. Welcome to Java series part 78. In our last video, we saw string tokenizer. In this video, we are going to discuss about collection framework. Collection framework is the most important topic. You have to understand this collection framework topic. Because if you if you are preparing an interview, if you have an experience, zero experience, or if you have a more than 5 or 10 year experience, no matter. Collection interviewer always ask related to collection framework question. If collect if interviewer ask 10 question, then interviewer minimum minimum four to five question ask related to collection. Because the collection is a very very important topic. If you know very well collection, then you can use this collection framework in a very well know. Okay. So in this video and upcoming video, we will discuss uh, what is the collection and how many classes, how many interfaces collection and how to deal interview question. Also, we discuss how to deal interview question, collection related interview question. So let's first understand what is the framework. Okay, collection is a one type of framework. Collection is a one framework. So we have to know what is the framework first. Framework is a ready-made architecture. Some common solution we need frequently during a development. For those common solution, Java create a ready-made architecture. Most of time we see in a whole project we we use some common solution in hundred time. Okay, not even this only particular this project for every project use that common solution. A performance searching sorting operation all this common methodology common solution. Okay, because everyone looking this solution Java create a code for this common solution and Java give that code name is a framework. Okay, we can use that framework for reduce our workload by using a set of classes and interface create a ready-made solution ready-made for creating a ready-made solution java also uses a set of classes and interfaces we can use this ready-made architecture and save development time and provide quality code we can we can simply use that ready-made architecture okay and we can simply reduce our development time Framework is optional use. There is no compulsion. You have to use a framework only. Framework is optional use. If you want to use a framework, if framework is fulfilling your requirement, then you can use a framework. If, if framework is not fulfilling your requirement, you can then you can write your own code and you can write your own solution. We can't modify a framework. We can only use the provided features. Okay let's consider this collection framework we can't modify this collection framework we can only use whatever collection framework provide features we can only use those features collection framework we can't modify internal java code okay so only the collection framework is a framework or other also framework you can see in this example few more framework collection is one of them framework collection hibernate strut spring we can use this framework and we can reduce our development time okay if you want to use a hibernate if you want to interact with the database then you can use a hibernate framework there is no compulsion you have to use only hibernate framework you can simply write a simple sql query in a jdbc and then also you can perform this database connectivity operation but if you use a JDBC, then you have to write a more code, okay, more lengthy code. But if you use a Hibernate framework, then you have to write a short code. You will see all these other framework also in upcoming series. But in this series, in this video, in this series, we will only discuss Core Java, and the collection framework is a part of Core Java, okay. So here we understand what is the framework when we can use a framework if we have a common requirement and java already provided a framework for that then we can use collect we can use that framework framework is not compulsory okay we can use a framework if our requirement is fulfilling that framework if framework is not matching to our requirement then we can write our own solution also and last thing we can't modify framework okay whatever provide we can only use that features we can't modify their features okay that's the framework definition okay let's see uh, you can see this ready-made framework there is a two types of things in real life i want to buy i want to buy a cpu okay i want to purchase cpu so 
I'll simply I'll first I'll I'll make my requirement. Okay, I'll 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 note down my all requirement for what purpose I want to buy I want to purchase CPU. Okay, for what purpose I want to purchase CPU. My my purpose is I want to just common uses. I want to just uh, use some Excel and normal coding and normal thing. I want to I want to do normal thing. Then I can simply go and I can I can. I can purchase any high end CPU. Okay, this this easily available in a market CPU. This there is a, some common common uh, features like one TB hard disk, uh, few i5 i3 generation, maybe uh, SSD, RAM, all these thing common thing. But I want to play a game. I want to build a gaming laptop. I want to build a gaming PC. Okay, in that scenario. There is a, in market I have a gaming PC, but I don't want those PC. I want my own configuration PC. Okay. Then in this scenario, I want to build. I want to build a custom CPU. Okay. In this custom CPU, it it might be take a time because we have to select all these part and we have to assemble all those part. Okay, but this custom custom CPU is a unique CPU. Okay, this this custom CPU not made for a global uses, not made for a global requirement. Okay, this custom CPU for a specific, it's is prepared for a specific requirement. Okay, there is a two different thing. This one is a common common uses. That means this CPU is a common uses, and this gaming CPU is a custom uses. Okay, this common uses common most of people purchase this common CPU. That's why this CPU already created. Okay, the same thing in a Java. If most of people using this same solution again and again, then Java make a framework for that. Java make a ready-made code because developer obviously everyone like a framework because using a framework we can save our time. And for creating this custom, this this obviously this one take a time, this one take a cost. Okay, so these are two different thing. We can consider these two thing in a real life example as a framework and this custom code. Okay, so why collection? That's the question. If interviewer ask why collection, okay, so we will discuss step by step. First, we introduce first Java introduce. Variable. Okay, let's consider first Java introduce variable. So initially we are using a variable. We are happy uh, because we have a one to variable. Okay, but it can't store. Variable can store only single value. Okay, if you want, but but suddenly I got a requirement. I want to hold. I want to store a hundred. I want to store one thousand student record. Okay. Then I got a question. How can I how can I store inside a variable thousand record? I can store. It's not it's not like uh, impossible. We can store thousand record. But let's consider for just declaring this thousand student variable. We have to declare this thousand variable. Okay. The first declaration only consume thousand line. Okay, then we want to assign some value those variable for assigning again consume thousand line means two thousand line only for a declaration and variable assignment. Okay, only two thousand line only it's not only two thousand line for only two thing we we occupied two thousand line. Okay, so variable is a good for normal uses. Okay, if you if you have one or two record. And a unique uh, data type record, then we can use a variable, global variable, local variable. We already discuss all these variable thing in a previous few videos. Okay, so here one thousand line occupied and only for a declare variable. It uh, difficult to handle one thousand variable, and it's very difficult to handle one thousand variable. Then we introduce. Array. Okay, here two thousand line only for a declaration and assignment. Then instead of writing this two thousand line, we introduce array. Okay, it can store a multiple element. We can declare a size with a thousand, and we can store a thousand record. Okay, simply 
we will create a, in a single line we can create this thousand variable okay we don't want to create thousand variable we can simply create a one variable and we can create we can assign a thousand element value we can store in that array thousand element okay simply we declare array and we we put we assign a size thousand element you can store a thousand element okay let's see then we can simply write uh, two three line four five line code and uh, using a for loop we can assign uh, all these thousand variable value okay here uh, just minimum just max to max 10 line we required for a declaration and variable value assignment okay let's see here initially we are using a variable here we required a 2000 line and here we just required a 10 to 15 line for declaration till the assignment okay max to max 10 line array is good but here we got some drawbacks okay let's consider those here we can't store heterogeneous data okay we can't store heterogeneous data we can only store homogeneous data so what is mean by heterogeneous homogeneous i'll i'll simply quickly uh, explain heterogeneous means we can store hybrid hybrid data type okay we can store a string we can store an integer we can store a float we can store any type of data in a heterogeneous but in a homogeneous if we declare a string then we can only store a string type of data if we declare integer then we can only store an integer type of data that means uh, this array is a homogeneous data type array is only support for a homogeneous it can't store a heterogeneous data we can define an array size we can't change that size at a time once we define an array size we can't change that size at a runtime here we don't get any readymate method to perform any types of operation okay here we go here once we declare this array and we can store array then here we don't get any method for a get particular uh, index value for a get part for update particular index value here we don't get such type of method here also we don't get a searching sorting we we don't get a single method here for a perform any operation okay if we store only bio record then 995 element still occupy the memory without purpose and this is the most problem this is the most observable problem in array if we declare array size 1000 and only five student occupied their space then what about 995 element 995 space those occupied those also occupied a memory without any purpose if we talk a real life example let's consider we conduct one session okay we conduct one session and we invite uh, some we we invite some thousand student okay we invite thousand student uh, we randomly send a mail for thousand student and uh, we arrange one room one one big room and we arrange their thousand chair we consider thousand student will come and that purpose for that way we think and we arrange thousand chair and uh, real time and that moment only five student come okay what about 995 chair those occupied memory those occupied that particular space but without any purpose okay because they are only come five student and 995 space is occupied we have to pay we have to pay that space okay in in this memory memory means it's not free we have to pay pay that memory we have to pay performance we have to sacrifice performance okay this thing uh, here this few loopholes we have to follow for for overcoming these loopholes we go with collection okay here we consider here few drawbacks we uh, array don't support heterogeneous first thing once we define a size then we can't change array size second thing array don't provide any readymate method third thing and uh, once we define a size we can't change that's why uh, if occupied only five element then 995 element occupy memory without any purpose okay they don't release that 995 memory okay so this drawback so finally discuss collection framework 
the collection is a java framework that provide architecture to store and manipulate the group of object we can store and manipulate group of object in a single entity okay using a collection we can achieve all the operation that we perform on an object such as searching sorting insertion manipulation and deletion collection means a single unit of object and we can perform operation on that object we can hold multiple object in a single unit and we can perform operation on those object okay collection used for hold and transfer data from one place to another all collection classes implemented a clonable and serializable interface collection mostly using for hold first we hold data then we transfer data from one class to another okay for a collection mostly using a transfer data from one layer to another layer we simply use a DAO layer for for getting a data from db and we store that all data in a one collection and we we pass we transfer that data in a different in a other layer okay we can say uh, action layer or we can say service layer we can pass that data for storing and transferring using for store and transfer mostly use this collection what features provide a collection that's the question okay what features here we got other than array and variable collection provide a classes and interfaces to perform operation on a group of object collection provide a most of classes and interfaces we can use those classes and interfaces uh, depend on our requirement we have to which classes we have to use we will see all these classes and interfaces in upcoming video in a collection we can store a heterogeneous element we can store heterogeneous element easily we can store homogeneous as well as we can store a heterogeneous element in a collection framework collection provide all types of searching sorting algorithm okay then one more question without a collection how can we achieve these features whatever collection provide if collection is not there then how can we achieve these features we can create an algorithm by using a data structure concept in a data structure we can create a stack queue link list for manipulation manipulation group of object and for a searching sorting we can create an algorithm like a bubble sort heap sort insertion sort merge sort all this sorting algorithm if there is no collection framework then we have to follow this data structure okay but there is a collection framework that's why no one no one go with this for common uses mostly common uses we use a collection framework if we have a specific use if you have any specific reason any specific use then we have to go with data structure we will see in upcoming series we will see this data structure all algorithm and all thing because this this topic is very important for interview purpose most of mostly big companies ask related to question and data structure because they believe they don't believe this theoretical part they believe coding part they believe uh, algorithm part and here we only in a data structure we got the most learn learnful algorithm okay so in this video that's it in next video we will see uh, collection diagram and uh, we will discuss all collection classes and overview uh, in the next video till that bye bye